not, you're not gonna believe this. The, the new item I just got for my office. You guys, I can, I cannot wait to show you my office. It is so close to being finished, you guys. Um, it's my office slash filming room slash, um, you know, makeup room. You guys get it. This is the room where I've really went crazy. All of my wildest dreams, just super like leaned into a vibe that I was feeling. You know, it's it's my personal space. It can be kitschy, it can be tacky. It's just for me to be happy in. You guys, <laughs> it's coming together better than I could have hoped. And the thing I just bought for it, I cannot wait for sh to show you guys the whole room, but I'm, I'm, I'm saving it. I'm saving it for the big reveal. But the, the piece I just picked up, I gotta show you. I have to show you. It is the most gorgeous thing ever. Uh, you'll probably get some little sneak peeks of the office, but you guys, you guys, look at this lamp. Oh my God. It is like a legit plaster vintage lamp from the 80s. It is the most gorgeous thing. And yes, it works. This is the original lampshade. Oh my God. You guys, I am flipping out. It looks so good in here. It makes me so happy. I just, I, oh. It is so like my 80s dreams in this room so far. And I'm hoping, maybe, will you stop it? You're not going outside. And I'm just hoping, you know, that it's gonna get even more so. I cannot wait to show you guys. It looks, I'm gonna link her Instagram down below. I got it from a vintage seller um, in Los Angeles. If you're in the area, check out her stuff. Oh my God, she has such good stuff. I am over the moon, just over the moon. I just wanna sit in this room all day, I, but I can't. I cannot sit in this room all day because I have got things to do, okay? I am rocking and rolling. I've got a, a doctor's appointment uh, tonight. So I, I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go to my mailbox. Oh my god, I'm just really showing you my whole damn house right now. I'm going whoa. I'm oh I'm going okay, sorry, I had to turn my air down because of the noise, but it is freaking a hundred degrees. I'm going to the dentist. Uh I'm scared. I'm just going for x-rays and cleaning, but I haven't been to the dent. Well, technically I went to the dentist late last year and they found three cavities because I hadn't been, before that I hadn't been for five years. I never went to the dentist since moving to Los Angeles because I didn't have dental insurance. <laughs> um, and uh, it's very unlike me because I was always like very diligent about my teeth, never had cavities. I get to LA, don't have insurance, you know how that goes, okay? But anyway, so I went to the dentist late last year. I did not like my dentist, I did not like my insurance, so I ended up switching insurance this year so that I could go to my brother's dentist, who supposedly is really good, he really likes him, so I could get these cavities filled. Then COVID happened, and uh, yeah. So long story short, I put it off again. I'm finally going. I'm scared because I don't like being poked and prodded. Like I've never really was scared of the dentist before, but this is a new fear <laughs> because just my anxiety. I just am like, I don't like sitting there being trapped and like having fingers in my mouth. You know what I mean? But I just gotta get it over with. And thankfully they're not filling the cavities today. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe I've gotten another one since late last year. <laughs> oh God. Okay, I'm back home. I'm making myself a sandwich because I'm starving. It was not that bad. Granted, I only got a cleaning and x-rays because the dentist is out of the office for the rest of the month, so I do have to go back in two weeks for him to examine my x-rays and see what I'll need to have done. But, I don't know. You guys, here's a reminder today. Just do the thing you've been putting off. Just do it, check it off the list. Do it right now, pause this video. Okay, did you do it? 
it's just so much easier i'm like such a procrastinator with things that are like not that big of a deal just because of like it makes me a little bit uncomfortable it causes a little bit of anxiety i'll just put it off and now it's like now i have to go back again for them to do all this and i'm probably gonna have to spend money getting like cavities filled all because i didn't want to go to the dentist oh my god i used way too much mustard but yeah i just want to vlog a little bit and tell you guys that the dentist is no big deal and um i'm gonna sit down though and eat my sandwich and relax for a little bit so i will see you guys later or probably tomorrow let's be real <laughs> Making dinner. Feeling a lot of emotions tonight. Um, mostly pissed and scared. Um, presidential debates are last night. <laughs> yeah, I can only get about 45 minutes into it before I wanted to set my whole body on fire you know i didn't expect to like gather new information by watching this or get down um you know it's like i know what i know i know i'm voting for biden and kamala and the thing is is like i know there's a lot of people like undecided or who are like i'm gonna sit this one out because Bernie didn't win because um, Warren didn't win. And it's like, yeah, that fucking sucks. It sucks that, you know, we couldn't move the mark closer to where we needed to be. But at this point, it's life or death. Like, it really is. It's not even hyperbolic. It's life or death. Maybe not for you personally, but for a lot of people. And that's the thing that really gets me is like, how selfish we are you know like how void of humanity we can be that we care so much more about ourselves than our neighbor or someone we don't even know it's suppressing man like please vote like i don't even know what else to say like please vote your vote matters. Don't listen to anybody that tells you it doesn't. Don't sit this out to like make a statement because anybody who does that, I'm sorry, but like that's privilege. So many people don't have the luxury of making a statement right now. It's life or death. And we need to be thinking of those people. We need to be thinking of each other. I really hate how individualistic this country is. It's sickening. I'm sick of like everything being politicized, like masks. There are legit people that think that this pandemic is a hoax. That their freedom or whatever the fuck excuse they have is more important than reducing the spread of a very real virus that is predominantly taking the lives of black and Latino Americans. I'm just so pissed. I'm so pissed and I'm like, you know, I watched that debate and I'm thinking like, surely nobody can be agreeing with him right now. Nobody can be looking at him and thinking he's making sense. But like, unfortunately there are. There are lots of people that think he's got it under control. Look, I, I'm just, I'm not great with words when I talk about really meaningful things. Um, you know, I don't know all of the facts. I, I, I stumble over my words, but you don't have to be really smart or know all of the facts to just have empathy. I don't know. We've really lost our way there on having empathy. You know, I don't necessarily think that Biden's gonna like do the things that we need him to do, but right now I feel like there's one goal and that's 
get this fascist out of office because we don't have a choice, you know? I keep hearing the argument that's like, well, uh, you know, yeah, Trump, but like Biden probably has dementia. And it's like, so? Is that supposed to deter me? I would literally vote for this freaking asparagus piece right here before I'd vote for Trump. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna make dinner. Well, as you can see, I was um, trying to make some pancakes and you saw me kind of struggling to light my stove and it's because my power's out. I know you're like, but your lights are on. Yeah, half of them are on. The other half is off. The back half, half of the house, completely dark. The front house, not dark. Only half the electricity is working. Hallway lights off, bedroom light off, but bedroom lamp works. AC, nope. The reason why half my power is out and it's because we're in the middle of a heat wave. <laughs> yeah, so the grid is overloaded. I don't know. It's 81 degrees in here. Not even our overhead fan is working. All my neighbor's power, same thing. They're having the same issues. Half the power's working, half's not. And then the power guy was here and he just kind of like looked around and was like, I'm gonna have to get a crew out here and then drove away. And I don't know when that's happening. Just when I thought today was the day for celebration. <sighs> oh my God. So, yeah, nothing's worse than being hot. I'm in a bad mood. Anyway, so something to hopefully cheer me up is, and I thought would be maybe fun to open with you because I don't really open PR packages with you guys. But um, this feels like it's gonna be something interesting. Oh, I also was sitting outside to try and get a little bit of a breeze and I got bit by like 12 mosquitoes all over my legs and so I'm also itchy. Okay, so anyway, Kosis sent me a care package. It, this was hand delivered to my P.O. box. I don't know why it was hand delivered. I'm hoping it's, there's not, oh no. I think there's like food in here. Oh, look at this. Has my name on it. Exclusive, Kosas Joanna unlocks a free full-size product on Kosas.com. There you guys go. So Kosas Joanna. Um, unlocks a free full-size product. I would act on that fast. I don't think it's like gonna be forever. Um, so if you've been wanting to try anything, there you go. This is not sponsored. Um, I'm just bored. I've actually been needing one of these. This is one of those like insulated bags that you like take to the grocery store, like a cooler bag. So I'm excited about that. Um, what's in here? Oh, cold pressed juices from Erewhon. And, um, whoa, what do you got? We got three juices here. Oh, this is why it was hand delivered. It was like on ice. So that was yesterday, so it's not anymore. And then we have what I'm guessing is product here, but have you tried it on your lips? Look at this holographic package. I think I know that this is their like CBD lip balm. I saw it on their Instagram. I'm really excited because I love their lip balm. Yes, CBD your lips. Lip fuel, extra strength. Mmm. I love this. I love this. It says hyaluronic acid and 50 milligrams full spectrum CBD. Cute. Okay, then there's also this they sent me. I hope this isn't perishable. Um, but this is Homeboy Foods. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. What do we got here? Oh. <laughs> um. 
There's like a million goodies here. Uh, okay, these do not have to be refrigerated. Okay. It's just the most perfect thing I could have opened right now because I was in a bad mood. I cannot believe how many cookies are in here. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. Okay, well, thank you so much, Kosas. I'm gonna go eat like five of these cookies, so I have to go. I got more art, but this time it's for my office. I keep calling it my office. It's my filming room. I guess it's my office, but it sounds so like I'm doing like paperwork in there. Anyway, I ordered this from um, a vintage seller. This is her handle right here. She has really cute stuff. I ordered it like a week ago and she just delivered it. It's huge and gorgeous. And it's exactly what I've been looking for. You guys ready? <laughs> Oh, look at her. Yes. We're just one step closer to that filming room makeover video. So growing up, my grandparents had a beach house in the Jersey Shore. And, you know, it was the 90s, so everything was decorated. Like, this kind of stuff everywhere. Everything was, like, pink and, like, 80s, 90s, like, art deco-y, beachy, and, like, that I'm so nostalgic for that. I've always loved that that kind of style. So I've been looking for something like this because I really want to incorporate a little bit of that vibe like in my sunroom and in my filming room. Um yeah, so this is like perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go hang this. Also, I really want to mention you guys, I started a TikTok last night after we lost power for like, by like hour three, I was like, well, I guess I'll learn these TikTok dances. And you know, I've had a TikTok for a while because I'm obsessed with watching it. You guys know I've talked about it, um, but I've never actually posted anything. So that changed last night. I'm gonna need you guys to follow me um, so that I don't feel like a loser. Um, it's like kind of a joke. Like I'm having fun, but it's also like kind of, you know, basically I posted, my second video I posted was me dancing, uh, doing the WAP dance, except not at all because I don't know that dance. So it was just me like pretending like I was doing the dance. And you know, TikTok's like way too supportive or something because people are in the comments like, yes, queen. And I need you guys to know that like this was not serious. <laughs> I did not think, I really appreciate it, but I did not think I was actually doing the WAP dance. Um, but anyway, um, go follow me. Maybe you guys will encourage me to post more and let me know, I don't know, do you want me to post on TikTok? I really like it. But yeah, give me a follow and let me know what I should post down there because I don't really know. <sighs> I love fall. It's 100 degrees today and um, even though it doesn't feel like fall here until November, um, I decided to get this pumpkin candle from Target to, to kind of speed things along mentally. I'm doing something really exciting today. I am finally going to be reupholstering this chair that I've had for so long. It's going to be gorgeous, I hope. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel confident enough that I can do it. I just got this fabric, you guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, it does not do it justice on camera, but it's like a crushed velvet-ish, seashelly pink, um, yeah. I'm so excited. And then I also got some sanding materials, stain, and um, I'm gonna hopefully do this. 